How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. We're going to be taking a look at Zealot here in the bottom left hand corner, bottom right hand corner, excuse me, versus Flash in the top left. And this game should be fun. Zealot is a crazy player. We've never seen him go uh, in ZVT before. We've never seen him play ZVT. He is a wild man. Well, Flash is actually going to open up with eight wrecks. Okay. Putting the pressure on to Zealot early. Zealot made it into the ASL last season. He's kind of a new addition, though. He was not around when Flash was killing it in ASL. And now that Flash is back, I don't know how much experience he has uh, playing against Zealot. I don't know if he's played him a bunch of times before or if he's seen a bunch of his games or streams or whatever. He might not know what to expect here, and Zealot is like i said a wild man we're gonna see what kind of build he pulls out ah unfortunately it's gonna go for an 11 hatch to start things off and with the eight racks out in the front and flashes immaculate immaculate excuse me scv control i think we might see zealot be in a bit of trouble here second uh this is the first overlord excuse me heading out in kind of an awkward direction Usually you would send your first overlord north so that you can get over top of the natural in the top right. But it looks like he wants to go for this pillar over here or this um, high ground over here. And in that way, he will get the scout here just in time before Marines could have killed that. And then this one will be able to make it over to this high ground here. Unfortunately, neither of those locations is where Flash is at right now. He's over here in the middle of the map with his base all the way across. He's mining with two on gas as he pushes in the first drone. Gonna spot those two Marines coming in and we're gonna see a factory get thrown down here mighty soon. Bunker starts out in the front. This is scary. Now, building the bunker means you can't build the factory as quickly and he builds two bunkers. So it's really hard committing to this, but it does mean that he won't have that factory up nearly as fast. Uh, as he could have otherwise three marines here looks like he's just gonna sack this this is kind of wild what we're seeing out of zealot right now he hasn't started ling speed instead oh wow he loses the drone there that is painful instead of starting ling speed he's gonna bring a drone down here let's see if he can get a sunken colony up just outside of range looks like he messed it up before this time he's gonna start the sunken colony but we're already at 200 hp might as well cancel this. There's really no point in making this go. Okay, he's just going to pull all the links at the same time. He hops out of the bunker and just goes for the kill. Oh, man, that is painful. Flash actually gets the kill on the hatchery. You want to wait until the very last possible second before pulling the trigger on something like that. But in this case, you know... Flash was able to hop out and just kill that hatchery with the target fire. A really good move there by Flash because otherwise I think he would have lost the bunker. All the Marines would have went down. But now he's in a fantastic position. He has a sunken colony here on the low ground. I don't know if he's actually going to make that into a sunken. He's got a creep colony, excuse me. Vulture is about to pop out. That'll deal with the counter attack. It looks like it will force everything back. Behind this, a starport coming up as well. Likely we'll see that 111 build in full effect with the Wraiths coming out very soon. And Zealot sitting on one base. This is a tough position. I don't want to count Zealot out, though. He is a very good scrappy player. And he's got a lot of lings right now. And his mutilus control is stellar. So let's see what he can do. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt here. Factory with the add-on now. Interesting, going for that add-on right at this moment. I wonder what that's for. Maybe for mines or something? Maybe for vulture speed? I don't know. He's going to land the barracks here in the wall. He's got two vultures up on the high ground. We have the sunken back at home. No hatchery, though. Zealot is going to pull out something really crazy. He's got three mutas on the way. He's hiding all of his lings over here in the top right-hand corner. What does he have up his sleeve? What is going to be the decision here? 
and overlord will fall that's super painful gonna supply block zealot now he's gonna have to make an overlord when he really doesn't want to you can see his mineral income is so low the fact that he lost a drone here and then made a sunken colony after is brutally punishing him right now only six drones on those mineral patches and three mutas going across the map we've already got cloak on the way i think once this cloak is done we're just about out of this one like what can he do against a bunch of wraiths with cloak there's no way you can get overlord speed and overlords are so far away he's got one over here maybe he can get it to this position and have it as like a fallback but it's still such a desperate spot here for zealot he's moving around this base looking for anything he can pick off or any damage he can do that's just going to be free damage vulture speed is done the wraiths are going to take some pot shots more wraiths are or more wraiths and more mutas are being made and a science facility is coming up as well once he gets that science facility and the first irradiate out it's just about going to be lights out i think but what are we doing with these links over here he's hiding them up in the top right hand corner like he expects to do something with them look the vultures are heading out on the map we got four vultures out on the map I don't know what do we get what, what's gonna happen here more mutas coming out we've got lings on the ramp one sunken colony here so he shouldn't be able to break up that ramp overlord has arrived so he can still fight even though the rates are cloaked and in fact you'll probably have to decloak and will be running out of energy on these he's only got three rates and now a science vessel is on the way ling speed is beginning now ling speed is coming Mutas are slowly stacking up in number, but some of them are very low. It's a little bit scary right now. Still just poking here. Dealing little bits of damage wherever he can. So many turrets are being made. So many turrets are being made. Oh god, the mute or the wraiths are gonna go around. The wraiths are just gonna come in and kill everything, I think. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad for Zealot. He sees it. He's just going to start to head back home. What is he going to do with these? The wraiths are going to kill all the drones. All right. The lings are going to start to move out. You can see in the top right hand corner. He's starting to move out with those lings. His drones are all falling right now. We've got one vessel. Irradiates on the way. Not enough energy for that just yet. He forces the barracks to lift. This is actually huge. Tons of lings are going to run in here in a moment. Even though everything uh, back at home is dead, all the drones are dead. Maybe he can get in here with his lings, kill these two marines, and the vulture? Can he actually kill that? I think he needs to dive in with the uh, mutas to kill the vulture. Otherwise, the vultures will clear out everything. He's got a moment here where he could dive in, but the irradiate is done. This is a crazy gambit from, from, from Zealot, but... It doesn't seem like it's actually going to pay off. The vultures back at home clear out everything and that irradiate did an insane amount of damage. Now moving out with some lings. This is really all he's got left. He's on zero drones. So he's just trying to break the back of Flash. At the 11th hour here, can he make it happen? No, the vultures run into the main. There's really no reason to go in like that, but he flies in. Zealot taps out, Flash takes this game away. A bit of a crazy one there. Look at how many turrets were made at the end of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eighth turret was coming up here around the main base of Flash, showing that he has what it takes to deal with a scary early game, kind of crazy player like Zealot. Getting the eight racks in on him was the kind of the killing blow there but zealot made it into a game by hiding those links and trying to come in at an opportune time i think what he had to do though was dive in with the mutas before coming in with the links and just kill these two vultures if he kills the two vultures look at how many kills they have seven kills and four kills that's all the links if all the links were still alive and the vultures were dead 
he would have had to fight with SCVs, and then so many more units would have gone down. So many SCVs would have gone down. He probably could have killed a lot more turrets. I was getting kind of excited when I saw Zealot uh, backstab with those links, but it seems like Flash just a little bit too good in these crazy situations. He handles it perfectly. Zealot making a few small mistakes. He ends up losing this game. Man, he's got to be kicking himself for not pulling the trigger on that attack. Uh, to try and kill the bunker a little bit sooner a great move we saw there from flash jumping out of the bunker at the last second and just picking that off love to see it love to see flash in good form we're going to be look on the lookout for more flash versus zerg games because i really want to see how this guy develops in this matchup as well he's just grown so much in tvp and it's awesome to see guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video